Today we test products for dragons. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You know, as human beings, we take a lot of things for granted. Our mother's love, mm. our dying planet, how pain-free it is to pull on a weenus. But perhaps the thing that mankind takes most for granted is our ability to buy whatever gizmo, gadget, and doodad we want on Amazon and get it in just a couple of days. That is sorcery. It's also not fair. I mean, what about dragons? What about them? Where's their Amazon? Who's their dragon Jeff Bezos? Yeah. They don't get one, right. that's the problem. So today, we've created real products that dragons definitely need in their real lives. It's time for, as never seen on TV, Dragon Products Edition. All right, we got some of the hottest dragon products ever before seen, and we're gonna test them out today. Remember, this is for you, dragons. All right, let's see our first product. Have you ever felt left out of the party because you don't eat human meat? Ever wondered if you've lost the general respect of your dragon peers? Then you need Dragine Crispy Human Tenders. Just because you don't partake in eating human meat doesn't mean you can't partake in friendship. Right, it's uh, tough for dragons who are trying to kick the meat habit, <laughs> right? And, but they, cause they wanna feel like they're eating the baby. Right, and that hopefully that's what's inside there. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, baby. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yes, you know, toddler sized or I mean no, this is dragons. Your mouths are watering right now. Th th this is like a couple, a few months old size, but it really comes down to to the taste. Does it taste enough like a toddler or like a little baby to replace? Oh my gosh, it's chewy. Now, as someone who's never had baby, uh, I just have to sort of guess what it would taste like, and I've always thought that it would taste, you know, a little light lamb. 53% <laughs> less fat than a regular human baby. That's a positive. Oh, this is a... Vegetable protein, cornmeal, and whole grains. Mm. Do we have at least some dip? Like maybe some baby food or human blood? Um, is there like a speaker in here that will emit like dying baby screams. You know, yeah, that's the thing. Cause uh, you, whoo, that's bad. I think maybe that would it's be. It's good, dry, it'll be good for you yeah, dragons. great for dragons. We're not supposed to like it. Cause we, you know what? We are humans. If we mm -hmm. liked it, it would just be weird, but I'm sure dragons would love this. It's, and for those Jewish dragons, totally kosher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, well, let's see our next infomercial. There's no denying it, floss is terrible. It's despicable, unpredictable, and don't even get us started on how there's never enough for a normal dragon. But there's a new floss in town that has none of the strife. Introducing Fire Floss by Oral D, made for dragons by dragon enthusiasts. Well, that's, a, us. that's a frustrated dragon. Look All at right. that. Now this is large and in charge. Look at that. Spearmint flavored, 63 feet. And now, you know what's gonna happen, because we got some dragon teeth back here that's in need of flossing. Okay, Link, here's what I'm gonna do. So, the way that- You might think it's weed whacker string, but- It's not. It's not, dragons. Now, it's exactly course, what you need. There's no like little mechanism here to cut it, because dragons got hot breath. And right. hot breath is enough to just, so could you just stretch this out in front of me here, Link? And I'll just, just- Is that what you want? Now, if we had actual- Wow! Uh, oh, oh, oh! It, it, it got Dang, a, man! Uh, that could have gone in your eye. Yeah, I think I, I got a little. Did we? And the chicken dropped, which is even more important. Do you blind I'm okay. Yourself? It went right there. Can you see it? Yeah, there's like a little burn mark right there. That's why we don't have any actual dragons here. Think about how much more you could have been burned. I'm so I'm still good. We're still good. <laughs> We're still good. I can still see. You're still good. Yeah. Hey, I'm still good. Okay. You want to floss good? that chicken out? <clears throat> now there's a little bit right there that already fell out. That's a whole leg and thigh quarter. Hmm. But there's the rest of a whole chicken up in here. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this around. Mm, that's good. I think that chicken got cooked as he brought it into his mouth and breathed on it. Yeah. Get up in that. Yep, there you go. There we go. Part there. of it, oh, there's some there's more. There's a leg really wedged up in there. You there's gotta some more over here. get in there and just pull, pull down. Thank you. <laughs> and um, you know, 
if, if for no other reason, it's great to be friends with dragons so that whatever comes out when they floss, you can just eat it. Man, I would have never thought that dragon breath would have so evenly cooked the chicken. Mm -hmm. That's very unexpected. Oh, and very tasty. Hey, before we see this next product, we do wanna remind you that we released another two-man vlog over on the Rhett and Link channel as we do every Saturday. Yeah, head over there to the Rhett and Link channel, check it out and subscribe while you're there. All right, let's see our next product. The smell of any dragon's cave should be vile, sulfurous, and rotten. But when fresh air blows in, are your lovely odors forgotten? Well, worry no more about those clean air smells with the Lair Defreshener by Blade. The Lair Defreshener has a new odor blasting technology with five disgusting plug-in scents. The Lair Defreshener, get yours today. The dragon is so expressive. I, I'll tell you, yeah, just the acting work there. I don't, I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm having a really bad day. It kind of feels like if Chase were a dragon, yeah. I don't know, I just get those vibes. Yeah. That somehow, it's like the, it, it, Chase in there. <laughs> well, really, you, maybe maybe the dragon ate say. Chase and got his acting ability. Um, well, here it is. Here's the plug in. Looks sort of like it might be a a, a knight's head of so, sorts. But look at that. Look at that link. Yeah, it's a big old plug because big old wall outlets yeah. live in caves. Yeah, yeah. This is your standard <laughs> dragon's lair outlet. Uh, and so yeah, you're just gonna find that. And just like it said, I mean, dragons like their lairs stinky. And sometimes there's a fresh breeze, and you gotta you gotta cure that. Okay, so I'm just gonna work that in there. Just just insert. Now it's not gonna work until we add the scents. So I've got the the blade scent cartridge here, and I'm just gonna yeah, just put up in there. Okay, so it's in there. Now it doesn't say what scent it is, so I guess we're just gonna have to smell it and guess. Just a matter of time before it pumps, you know. Tell how, how these things work. Here's oh oh, <laughs> oh there. It's more of a gleek action. Um, <laughs> little let, it's wow it's um, getting on the floor, but I guess dragons don't mind that. Oh, oh okay, it's uh, that does not smell good. <sighs> I'm getting dangerously close to this gleek. What? Night gleek. What is that smell? Ugh, is it night gleek scent? <laughs> close. Is that vomit? Is it night innards? Like dragon slayer failure juice? <laughs> I think we might need to work, uh, you know, this is just a prototype. I think we might need to work on the aromatic. Is that the word? You know, it needs to be more of an aerosol. At this point, they're just gonna be a, because I can see it right here, there's a puddle of uh, wetness on, on the ground. Yeah. You guys have any last guesses? Uh, spit? These are all great guesses, but this is actually the Decayed Night and Charred Churro scent. Decayed oh, night. yes, yes. There's a charred churro in this it? Is, this is when, you, when he attacks Disneyland. So the knight was uh, yeah. eating a churro at the time of his death. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay. All right, we do have another one. So Just take that one out. out. And let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is a green one. And now it's just uh, another matter of time. Oh, oh gosh, there it is. There we go. Oh, wow. Well, okay. <clears throat> okay, this one's. Whoa! <laughs> it's, this one's strong. This one's like. Good. That smells like. It smells like when you drive by like the DOT working. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's got sort of like a like a burnt like a decayed like a burnt tar. Like a like oh a, gosh! I, I think it's do dragons eat their own poop? <laughs> <laughs> this is like sometimes my dad would say, "It's a dead polecat." What is it? What is it? See, it doesn't. Okay, uh, we need to. Sorry, stop your it. guess was a dragon that eats its own poop. Yes. And then okay. And uh, mine's actually oh, dead polecat. Dead polecat. It's sulfurous sunset whistling Dixie. Why is it whistling Dixie? Uh, That's the polecat part. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. Oh, that is part of it. Um, hey, dragons, you're gonna love that scent, but get it the freak out of here. Yeah, let's uh, let's escort this out, and let's see our next infomercial. Dragon tails. You love yours. I love mine. But backing up with a tail can lead to a dangerous time. Sometimes it feels like you're backing up blind. 
Well, leave your tail troubles in your taillights with Wonder Tail. When you can back up easy, life's breezy. Call now. Okay, we've moved over here for a little product demonstration. Link, show them that tail. Hey, check it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's the problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because I have right. this, yeah. I, I can see it here, and I can see that. Right, okay. I'm, I got you. The, that's the play. Hold on, look. Stand, stand by. I can demonstrate. Watch, look. I can, I can see that my tail's getting close, but it's not hitting it. Okay, all right. Here's what's going on. Now, the tail... Let go of my tail. Hold on, the tail is not Let the product. Let go of my tail. The tail is not the product. The product is actually the backup camera that is situated in this faux spike on the back. But of course, Link is not an actual dragon, so we had to give him a tail. Now, we're gonna and set then, up... And then there's this screen here so the dragon can see what what happening behind. Right, so we're gonna set up a little scenario. I'd like to bring in my fake shoppers, Nick and Chase. So let's just say a human boy like me and his friend the dragon are shopping in a dragon china shop oh, like yeah, you do I love for her. a this bunch of plates that are exactly plan. the same. But then all of a sudden we realize, oh, it's closing time and a dragon can't be caught in a dragon china shop I love but after this closing one. time. So he's gotta back his way out. Hey. Mr. Dragon friend, you got, we gotta go. You gotta back what? your way out of the china what? shop. We what? gotta go, the exit's over this way. But I thought I wanted to purchase this one. Oh, we'll have to come back tomorrow. Oh, there's a, hi, person. This is my You're in my way? Okay, I'm gonna have to back, I'm gonna have to back up. Okay, all right. Uh, you've, only done a, you've only done a little bit of damage. Oh yeah, There Look you go, me. there you go. There you, I'm there coming you. back. I'm getting out of this shop. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay. All right. All you're right. A, you're a, dude. You're in the way. Man. Right. The okay. shop's closed. Yeah. Uh, well. I promise that this product is not defective. This is user error. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna come back. Okay. In my way. All right. Can you just come back? back here? Pretty yeah. good. <laughs> okay. Okay. I lost. I, I, I don't know track. him. I, I don't know. Sorry. I don't know him. I'm not looking at the screen anymore. Okay, bit, I don't know him. It's a it's a bit discombobulated. <laughs> hey, that was on you, right? You hit it. <laughs> okay, all right. As you can see, uh, there's some plates that weren't busted. So uh, this is effective at least to some degree. Okay. All right, Link, you can come back. Hey, great job. Well, it's... It's harder than it seems. <laughs> the Apparently. Instinct, the instinct is to turn and look at your tail. And then that's when the tail... <laughs> hey, there's a lamp back there that we really don't want to have broken. Okay, there you have it. You can't get any of these dragon products anywhere because they're not actually available because they're for dragons. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Greetings once again, Mythical Beasts. I am Ick the Troll King. And these are the fairies of the Tennessee Renaissance Festival. <laughs> and it is time to spin the wheel of Mythicality! Wow! Impressive! That is incredible! Are you gonna go? Yeah, man. If you can got a harem like that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Click the top link to watch us taste test dragon fruit snacks and good mythical more. And to find out where the Willamette Cali is going to land. Oh, this is not right with this. Is that messing up too? Why is that messing up? Okay. What's the problem? What's happening? What's happening? It's steaming, man. It's not close.